Hello there everyone, I am Caleb Tristan 5000 and welcome to my first ever YouTube video. So this might be a cluster, but I've got something I think you all will enjoy. This is the Redstone Personal Computer, or as I like to call it, the RPC. The total dimensions are 14 by 16 by 5, making it the smallest computer on YouTube. This computer is the equivalent of a 4-bit computer, so it can deal with numbers from 0 to 15. The only difference from this and other 4-bit computers is that this is based on hexadecimal logic instead of binary logic. It has two ports, which you can use to improve this machine without having to completely start from scratch. It has six functions, including not and adding. It has three registers, two for calculations, and a third for the result of the calculations. So here is a naked copy of the RPC. If you have done research on hexadecimal hardware, then some of these components should seem very familiar to you. These green components are the registers. This yellow component is the decoder. The blue component is the ALU, and all the red wiring are for busing. So how this computer works is that most of the data will go through this central loop. So you will input the data into this main pocket here, either from this port here or this port here. Once the data is received, it will be placed into the proper location for manipulation. The decoder will choose what to manipulate and will set registers add the registers, not registers, and wipe other registers. Then it will be sent back into this loop to repeat the process. So this is the instruction set for the RPC. Like I said before, it has six functions. If you set it to the output of one, it will clear the output register. If you set it to the output of three, it will set the second register. If you set it to the output of five, it will add register one and register two. The reason it does not set the first register is because of speed and compactness. It was a lot easier and faster to wire it this way than to have the wiring make a more logical sense. So if you give the input of value six, it will wipe register one and two. And if you give it an input of 7, it will not the first register. So if register 1 is 0, the output will be 15. If register 1 is 1, then the output will be 14, and so on. And finally, if you give it an analog input of 9, it will set the first register. So now I'm going to be showing you guys how to use this computer. So I'm going to run a simple 1 plus 1 problem. So I will go over here, and I will set the first register to the input of 1. If you set the first register, there is a chance that the computer can bug out, like it is right now, in which either the output register or the second register will be blinking on and off. I, it's still a bug that I have not worked on, but we'll hope to be fixing in the future. So now that, that I have set the first register, I will now set the second register, also to the power of 1. So as you can see, now both registers are active and set to the power of 1. And then I will flick this lever to add the two together. And if you come over here, you will see that the two blinked up on the output. If I were to set the second register again, it would now be saved to the analog input of 2. And then if I were to run the adding again, you will see that 3 comes out of the output. So there, ladies and gentlemen, is my latest invention. I'll be leaving a link in the description for a 3D model of this. If you have enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. Subscribing is completely free and it really helps this channel out. If you have an idea for what I should do next, please leave a note in the comments. If you need help with your Redstone projects or just want to hang out, please join my Discord server. The link of that will also be in the description. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day.